Hi everyone, welcome to your Timeless Tower reading. I'm Lauren with the Clarity Care. Welcome back, guys. We're going to dive right in. I'm going to shuffle the cards. Um, I felt inclined to deliver a message today, so here I am. No matter when you find this reading, the message is meant for you. All right, with that being said, oh, if you're new to my channel today, would love for you to subscribe and become a part of my tribe here on YouTube. Um, I do weekly live tower readings for the week ahead for all 12 signs and these timeless tower readings and full and new moon readings. Okay, with that being said, let's shuffle, get the energy on the cards and see what the messages are coming through for you today. I need my glasses. Let's see what I'm doing here. Okay. Ace of Swords. Oh, this is seven card spread. And I'll show you all the cards once they're out. Six of Swords. Knight of Wands. Cool. In your immediate future. Uh, uh, Six of Pentacles as your advice. The Tower as your influence. The Hanged Man as your obstacle. And the Eight of Wands as your outcome. Ooh, good communication coming in. Bottom of the deck, the Emperor. Okay. Wow, this is some powerful Aries energy here. Um, also, there could be some kind of message coming in about a job. Uh, you could be hearing maybe from a boss about a promotion. This could be dad energy as well or somebody older in your life that plays a significant role. Um, let's see what else is coming in. And then we'll kind of go through all the details. <laughs> all the messages coming in. All right. In your past, you have the Ace of Swords. Beautiful, brand new energy of a new beginning. Finding uh, maybe some type of clarity of mind. Uh, maybe a new direction to move into. So this is powerful because it's this energy of being able to, to, to clear the decks and, and to find some type of... Um, new vision for a hope or a promise or something you've been wanting to do in your life. Aces are always, you know, quite promising. It's how we think. Um, it's, it's maybe a, a mindset shift here as well for you, um, to move into some type of new beginning with maybe an offer, job offer, somebody that is of an authority figure getting back here to the emperor. Um, this is also getting grounded, taking back your power. Um, maybe you've had a, you know, just some mental strain and stress. Um, in your current position, you have the Six of Swords. So still overcoming some obstacles. You know, the, the Ace of Swords is a new beginning, but obviously you know, there's some minor obstacles that you might be dealing with right now. Uh, you can see there's three birds behind you, three in front of you, which is indicating you know, you're moving from this rocky time in your life to calmer waters. So that's really promising. Six of Swords is definitely about moving forward. Again, another mental energy card, you know, moving away from difficulty, being now focused on the future, the boat, you know, kind of being pointed in the right direction now. And your, your sixes are beautiful because they're about harmony and balance. Um, so you're coming into some kind of balance with a new opportunity. So I'm loving that. Very, very nice. And in your immediate future, you have that Knight of Wands. Guys, this is really amazing. Mm. So this is a brand new opportunity. Definitely shifts and changes coming in and offer a quest for some type of success. You're going to be able to, you know, fire ahead here um, and rather quickly. The Knight of Wands, he's the fastest moving knight in the deck. And this is you know, feeling more upbeat and pursuing a brand new idea or a brand new opportunity um, in like a, a project or your career or some type of job promotion or something like that. Uh, maybe it's just been difficult, right? And, um, you know, maybe you have to go back to the office now, you know, but they're going to offer you a promotion or something like that. So many people have been out of work or working from home you know, all our lives have been turned upside down with this whole, you know, pandemic thing. So, all right. So what is your advice? The six of pentacles. Mm. One hand washing the other. Generosity of spirit. You know, 
wow, you're really going to get what you deserve here. And, and I love that for you. Um, this is definitely windfalls. This is money coming in. <laughs> Congratulations. I love the Six of Pentacles. Um, it's your time to receive. Ooh. You're get, definitely getting a promotion for some of you. A whole new opportunity here. Opportunity. Um, now, for some of you, um, yeah, I mean, if you're a student um, or you've been thinking about going back to school, you know, the Six of Pentacles does indicate that you will have the financing that you need. So this could be loans and grants, right, coming in for you as well. Generosity of spirit. So it's your advice card. So you need to get out there and do what you need to do, uh, maybe to apply for these loans or apply for these grants or make sure you're applying for this brand new opportunity here that maybe you're not sure right now where you stand, okay, because you're still kind of in this state of overcoming yeah, some difficulty in your life, but you're going to have to <laughs> definitely um, put yourself out there because this is a, a, a turn for the better, right? So when you're going through this tough time, all of a sudden, boom, you know, you get news right through the nine of wands that you have this opportunity. And this will bring in financial security for you and put you in a strong, strong place, right? Building that foundation um, that you need. So... Yeah, you're being offered something. One hand washes the other. Um, I would definitely make sure you're networking. Mm. Um, you know, if you're not applying for loans or grants or anything like that, there, there's connections that you can make here that can kind of help you get a job, right? If you're dealing with an existing position, okay, then maybe you need to apply for a promotion with your boss um, or speak to your boss about, hey, you know, I, I need I need a change here, right? Um, I'm ready to move forward in a whole new way, and this is what I bring to the table, right? Um, as far as my skills and abilities. So very, very nice. Now, yeah, see, the influence here is the tower. Mm. So this, this is the shit hitting the fan, so to speak. Um, it's like you, you, you are... Um, being forced to make change, you are being forced to transform in your life. Um, maybe something happened um, where now you have to really look at, okay, you know, <laughs> what's next for me here. Um, but, you know, this is about growth. This is a growth opportunity. Tower card isn't always negative, right? So this could be actually... Um, Okay, so what they're telling me, because they're showing me the butterflies, right? This is an epiphany. This is some type of realization, right? That's going to bring you back to this idea. Even the colors are kind of resonating together. Um, this clarity of mind is going to come into play about how you move forward. Because the tower is about, it's a disruption. It's 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 change. It's change coming in. Um, and even though a lot of people think it's a negative card, it's actually a neutral card. Right, but it, um, it's fast moving. It's fast moving. Boom to create the change that you need to be able to um, get out of your situation or to change your situation. I mean, we all know what that's like, right? When you're dealing with some difficult um, mental or emotional issues or just a difficult time in your life, um, trying to decide, you know, where am I going? What am I doing? Okay, it's time for me to move on. Um, this could be some of you maybe considering moving, moving for a career or a job. Um, mm. But also stepping into the unknown, which could be scary, right? Because this the six to me is like a transitional time, right? It's like you're in between. You're in between a job or you're in, in, in between a career change or you're in between like a even a relationship. Some of you, this could be about a relationship as well here. Some new beginning in some way to start anew in your relationship. Very, very possible for some of you. Although I feel it's really work motivated, but um, that may not always be the case for all of you. Okay. So new beginnings all the way around. Um, these are changes. Changes that are being influenced by the tower. 
that maybe it's time. It's time <laughs> to move forward in a whole new way. And whatever has been false in your life, it, it needs to go and, and needing to face those things. You know, sometimes we, you know, turn a blind eye to something maybe we're not happy about in our life. Um, but then push is going to come to shove sometimes because the universe needs to kind of get you on track to, in the direction that you're, you're meant to be pointed in. And that's what the tower energy kind of brings in. Um, sometimes it's good, sometimes it's bad, right? I mean, not bad, necessarily negative, but in a way that, mm, you know, you, you need to get back on track. So it could appear difficult or you will maybe have to go through a little stage of, you know, some maybe some disappointments um, to to get back on your life path again and, and your life purpose and, and maybe end or your career purpose. These things happen sometimes when, you know, it, it, it's time it's time to get real. Um, it's time to to shift through the major changes. And we all when we're on our life path, we have certain pivotal moments that are predestined or pre-charted for us, right? So when we kind of look at those different time periods in our life, it's those 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 moments when you can look back and you say, oh yeah, I'm so glad I left that career. Oh, I'm so excited I changed my major in college because this is the direction I want to go. Oh, thank God I got divorced because I met the love of my life. That kind of energy. So it's, it's really, really exciting. Um, now your obstacle is the hanged man. Mm. You're going to have to get out of your own way. You're going to have to get out of your own way here. Guys, you got such good stuff coming in. <laughs> you really, really do. You need to trust the process. Um, maybe you don't want to make a move right now. Maybe you feel uh, stuck, you know. Um, but you can't wait for your clarity. I mean, to me, the hangman is, is, is a voluntary step back. But in this case, as your obstacle, you're stuck. It's telling me you're stuck upside down, not sure what to do at this point in time. Um, and yeah, you're going to have to get out of your own way here. You're going to have to get out, like I said, where's the advice card and network. You're going to have to get out and pull some strings, okay, or do what you need to do, right, to apply for the paperwork. Taking action here is going to be really critical. And surrendering, surrendering maybe to some habits that hold you back, um, and, and, and letting go, sacrificing the ultimate surrender is what the hanged man is all about because you have to be more open-minded to new perspectives. And sometimes that's hard, right? Cause we're stuck in our old ways. Oh, I don't want that job or I don't want to do that job. That job doesn't pay enough, that type of energy. And maybe, you know, an attitude shift here. Um, you know, because this is about your greater will. This is about your future and, and the potential that you have here. Um, so, so yeah, uh, time to move on guys. Okay. Time to turn upside up, right? Up, right. Okay. What else can I tell you about this? Um, don't wait to see how things play out. Okay. Um, now this could be, um, a delayed decision and we know what that feels like so like say for example you're waiting on the, on the financial um, aid paperwork or you're waiting for the loan paper or you went on a job interview because there is some beautiful new energy here okay and 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 you have the clarity of mind you need you need to get back into this headspace here um, of knowing that you're making the right decisions for your future um, because it's like you don't want to paint yourself into a corner, okay? Or find that you missed an opportunity here because, you know, you weren't really paying attention. So um, th this is really promising. This is really promising. Getting out of this stuck feeling, right? Um, and know that this information co is coming in. This decision is coming in. Um, I would say within, you know, less than probably a week, okay? 
because here's the eight of wands is your final outcome. I mean, this is really, really amazing. So congratulations. Eight of wands is information. I call it my information highway card. Um, this is news, communication, email, text, um, phone calls about now. Okay. Flying through the air, right? To move forward in your new endeavor. So this is really, really exciting. Um, it's really great news. Um, so get pumped. <laughs> know that you have this great news coming in. Maybe you've given up hope, right? Maybe maybe it's been so long uh, where you had this new thought or this new idea to move forward and you just kind of threw in the towel. Like say you went on this interview and you never heard. Don't give up because this could be unexpected news as well, right? Um, you being enlightened to the next step. Ah, okay. I heard from so-and-so. I can move forward now, okay? And you're going to get the money. Remember, you have this advice card, okay? So there's some type of reward here financially for you at the end of the day. You having the means to an end. So that is really amazing. Uh, so, so full steam ahead with the Eight of Wands. You're going to be moving forward rather quickly. Yeah, because you got the Knight of Wands as your as your outcome in your immediate future. Ooh, you're going to be flying high here. Look at the horse in the background galloping. Wow. So this is an, this is an indication where this shows, whew, you know, lots of communication, lots of things now finally moving forward in your life. This is like, boom, boom, the green light. Yay. You know, um, all delayed decisions are or all delays are now going to be behind you. Wow. Shifting and changing and growing. I love the Knight of Wands. It's like my favorite card in the deck. All this, this quest for success or this offer coming in, this communication coming in is, um, yeah, you now being able to reinv uh, reinvest in your life, um, now being able to, you know, that it's like the, the increase your energy. This is being happy because, wow, you know, I'm not in this state of mind anymore, you know. Um, I, I, I know I can plan now. I have that paycheck coming in or, you know, I'm nurturing this relationship. Now, the emperor too, what is going on with him? Why are you here, my friend? Um, some of you could be Aries. Some of you could be dealing with an Aries. Um, but I'm really picking up, um, you carving out a brand new path for you. It's taking control of your life, stepping up to the plate. See, remember I was saying here, um, don't wait to see how things play out. You definitely need, and this could be, um, this could be, where's the six of pentacles? This could be the contact. Okay. Maybe an ex boss knows somebody that might know a new boss or, you know, um, somebody that can help you get your foot in the door with this particular company. So I hope that makes sense. Um, so really powerful energy here about not waiting for the decision or not feeling roped and tied because you're taking action to create the change that you want. Now, some of you could be coming, becoming business owners. Maybe this, maybe this is about you applying for a business loan. Okay. Maybe you're starting your own little side hustle, or maybe some of you are opening a restaurant or, you know what I'm saying? So this is, this is really, um, this is so promising. What else is coming through here with the emperor, the emperor, the be all end all, yeah, he, you know, this energy of the emperor is somebody that I'd like to say has the key to the mint, you know, um, has the contacts, the know-how, the knowledge to assist. And, you know, without asking, okay, um, you're not going to get the help. So there's somebody in your life that's going to be able to assist you, okay? Um, this is an empire builder. This is somebody that owns their power. Um, so yeah, they pay attention to detail. Remember they're the patriarch of the tarot. So they're the be all and all. Um, yeah. And I was, I feel this is really more career orientated, um, than love. I'll be honest with you here. Um, this guy's organized and this is, I act upon the world. So t taking this energy, um, of the emperor and being your own boss and moving forward and not letting um, any kind of negative 
past experiences or delays stop you from moving forward. Okay, so get structured. This is also about being really super organized in your life. Um, and again, being, being um, you know, carving out this brand new path for your life. Okay, you have that here. Um, the, where is it? Hanged man. This is truth and my new vision. This is truth and my brand new vision to move forward. So you got some powerful major arcana here, three or four out of seven. So <clears throat> the universe has got you back, guys. You know, I mean, it's it's really quite promising. All right, let's pull you, um, how about a crystal card? That might help you. Let's see. What crystal would help you get through this time? And coming out of this blockage of the waiting game or feeling stuck. What would be a good card or a good gemstone for my beautiful followers here today? That could help them shift their energy. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Ooh, tiger's eye. Eye of the tiger. Oh, baby. That is so appropriate with the emperor. Oh, my God. Yeah. Fly like a butterfly, sting like a bee, or something like that. Who was that? Oh, no, that was a, yeah, that was a fighter energy. Um, Muhammad Ali, sorry, here comes my dog. Uh, sorry, sorry, sorry. He is 17 and a half, and he has a little bit of a heart condition, and he just ran up the stairs, um, and now he's, he's go lay down, cab. Uh, choking, coughing. Tiger's eye, let's read that. Wow, and I love the pink. I've never seen pink like being associated with the tiger's eye. But this is about self-love, too, I feel. Self-confidence through God confidence. Oh, wow. Believe in yourself by believing in God working through you. You're a miracle in the making. That's absolutely for sure. Um, so get yourself some tiger's eye. You can also screenshot this, okay, if you don't have time to go to the store. Um, you don't need a big piece, guys, you know? Yeah, this is where I feel like the tiger's eye is like going to kind of, it's going to come around you and like boost you up. So, wow. That is pretty spectacular, my friends. Tiger's eye. Eye of the tiger. I love it, love it. Um, and how about an energy card? Let's give you an energy card as well, and I'll post a frequency card for you, a music track. Okay, what is the frequency that my beautiful subscribers need to tap in here? Why they kind of wait out here? Um, the waiting game to get news about their particular situation. It's all good. It's all going to happen, guys. So we know that. Um, to be true, right? Oh, oh, I'm dropping. Okay, that's way too many. All right, let's try this again. One more round. Oh. 963, true state of being. Mm. This reminds me of the tiger's eye. See, this beautiful brown, right? This energy, it's almost kind of similar. Look at that, guys. Right, see this how this beautiful tiger's eye energy, this brown, is commingling to protect you um, and take care of you. True state of being is having the confidence to know who you are. This is you really stepping into your power, right? Which is everything that the emperor wants you to do. There's some kind of resonance here as well. Um, you could be coming the boss too. For those of you that are applying for a promotion, this could be. You know, maybe feeling a little intimidated because you're going to be running a team. You're going to be running maybe a company. So um, trust yourself. Believe in yourself. You have the skills. You have the know-how here <laughs> to really step up the plate and be the boss. You are the boss. No matter how you slice the pie, 
This is a beautiful reading for you. I'm loving it. Love, love, love. Guys, so I'm doing mini readings here. If you're a member on my YouTube channel, would love for you to join us on April 11th. All my members are getting a private tower reading. Yay! So you can join. There's three tiers, guys. Here's the thing with my membership. I'm not going to... I'm not going to... Uh, not include the different tiers. So like when I do these tower readings, whether you pay $4.99 or $14.99, um, you're still going to get a reading because that's, for me, it's about offering you financial options, right? Not everybody can afford to pay for a private reading first and foremost. So if you can't afford that, this is a great way to get a reading with me, right? I think I'll give everybody like 10, 15 minutes each. Okay, so I'll do my best to get to everybody, all my members. So really consider joining. Okay, the link is below here in the description box or somewhere on my uh, channel here. There's a little join button. So consider joining us on, I think it's a Sunday, April 11th for a little private uh, members only tarot session. I go live on Instagram every Thursday. So if you don't follow me over there um, and you want to hop on there sometimes, yeah, catch me um, and you can ask me a question. That's like a more like a quickie one card pull Q&A. All right. So with that being said, I love you guys so much. Take care and we'll see you in the next one. All right, guys, have a great week. Bye bye.